guys, it's Rachel, and today I'm going to be showing you my fast food calorie counter. Now this is my final project for Visual Basic in spring 2015, and what it's going to do, if the name didn't already imply, is count the number of calories you consumed in any given meal at a fast food restaurant. Now I've already supplied you with a wide variety of fast food choices. Four. You got four fast food choices. So let's just dive right into this. I'm going to start by clicking on McDonald's and as soon as I do, you'll notice that not only do those signature golden arches appear, but also a list of various menu options like burgers, sides, and drinks. If I click on any of the other restaurants, you'll see that the same thing happens for them as well. So going back to McDonald's, I'm curious as to what that number one combo meal did to my body today, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that Big Mac, medium fry, and a medium Coca-Cola. And you can see that as I was clicking on those food items, both the name of the food and the number of calories it contains show up in this list box right here. So whenever I'm ready to truly feel guilty about that McDonald's trip, I'm just going to go ahead and press the Calculate Calories Consumed button. And you'll see that as I do, not only do the list boxes disappear, but those tasty burgers have moved towards the center, and a yummy label has appeared over it. So let's just run through this one more time. So I'll press the reset button right over here, and everything's appeared again. Those burgers have moved back to their original position, and it's ready to make you feel ashamed all over again. So let's just test it with a variety of food from all the restaurants, say your boyfriend just left and took your pet hamster and you need to let it all go. So you drove to McDonald's for the sweet tea, then took a trip across the street to Burger King to see how quickly you could consume 20 chicken nuggets, oh and you got the fries too. Then you're reminded that Arby's is his favorite restaurant and you can't help but take one more trip down memory lane and order the Beef and Cheddar Classic and the Grand Turkey Club. And to top it all off, you go to Taco Bell and get the Nacho Bel Grande, hoping that the wonderful taste is enough to hold back those tears. Now. Assuming you aren't in a hospital bed by then, the first thing you're going to do when you get back home is fire up that computer and input all of this into your fast food calorie counter. Once again, it's going to show everything you somehow consumed for that day in that list box and then output the total calories from those items. And congratulations, you have consumed a ton of calories in the span of 30 minutes and somehow that heart is still pumping. Alright, so let's jump to the code of this thing. I used a text file for all of my information, which contained the name of the food, the restaurant it came from, and the calories it contained, all separated by commas. And right here I've created a structure and declared food, restaurant, and calories so that I could separate the data inside of my text file. Here I've created a fast food array, which is what I've stored that text file into. I create a data array to store the food, restaurant, and calories that I've separated using line.split. Okay, moving on, this is where I use my LINQ to filter food items by restaurant and display them in the list box food. If the selected restaurant in the list box of restaurants exactly matches a restaurant in my text file, it's going to display all foods associated with that restaurant. Here I'm using an if statement to display the fast food logos depending on what restaurant is selected in that restaurant list box, and I'm calling on my picture focus subroutine, so let's scroll down to that. Picture focus takes in four variables and uses them to hide the first three and display the last. It might be easier to explain if you see, so let's go back up. So right here, if the selected restaurant is McDonald's, then pick Burger King, pick Taco Bell, pick Arby's will be hidden, but pick McDonald's will be displayed. I just have the code for the reset button here, which when pressed is going to return everything to its original position, clear all of those selected values, and show all of the list boxes and labels again. Here I'm just using a for loop to search through the array, and as I do so, if the food item selected in the list box foods exactly matches with any food item in the array, it's going to display the calories associated with it in the calories list box. Once an item is displayed, the calories number is also added to a running count of the total calories consumed. Of course, we have the exit button here, which closes the form, and then we have the calculate button, 
which if pressed just displays that running total calls the hide forms subroutine which just hides all list boxes, labels, and pictures. This is the show forms subroutine that was called by the reset button. And then the last part just makes use of the timer so that once the calculate button is pressed, the timer begins and moves that burger animation to the middle of the screen. So that is pretty much my Visual Basic project for spring 2015. And if you have any questions or suggestions for improvement, please feel free to leave a comment.